Hi everybody, thank you for watching. So I'm excited for today's video because I'm finally gonna partake in another makeup challenge video. So these makeup challenges have gotten a little bit out of control on YouTube lately. Um, it was maybe like a month ago or something, it was a while back. I did the full face using only highlighters challenge and that was fun. It didn't leave my skin feeling great. It was fun, I didn't like what it did to my skin. I did break out after it, which I figured was coming. But then after that, I mean the full face using only liquid lipsticks came out. I've seen a full face using only crayons come out. Face using kids makeup. All of a sudden I'm seeing 100 layers of makeup, 200 layers of makeup, 1,000 layers of makeup. And I'm like, what's happening here? The lovely, wonderful friends on my Snapchat have been asking me, are you going to do that challenge? Are you going to do this challenge? What challenge are you going to do? And I had a conversation with them the other day because I was like, guys, I want you to know that I listen to you when I get video recommendations. I screenshot every single one of them. I put them into my notes. I take them into consideration of if I can do it, when I can do it, and that sort of thing. And I was like, I just want to tell you guys that so far I don't see anything that's really speaking to me. And I don't want to do something that I don't want to do. I don't want to make videos that I don't want to do because just for the sake of doing them or being involved in a fun challenge like and that's not what I want my channel to be and I kind of went through some of them like I was like I don't want to put liquid lipsticks all over my face it hurts to take liquid lipstick off my lips and so to have them on my entire face sounds very painful and then when it came to the full face using kids makeup that was another one that was pretty requested I was like okay I think that's the one that I could do like that does sound pretty fun right and then I looked into the price of buying kids makeup and that's not cheap because I kind of thought, you know, it's kids makeup. Of course it's going to be less expensive. Why I thought that, I have no idea because kids are expensive. Let's let's be real. So I thought, okay, so I'm going to have to spend literally, like I was putting stuff in my cart and I was getting closer and closer to $100. And I'm like, um, no, I'm going to spend $100 on makeup that I'm going to use one time and then have to throw away. Like, you know what? I have to be practical here, guys. I'm... I'm a very practical person, I like to think, and so I was like, I don't think that one's gonna work out either. And then the 100 layers of makeup, again, I don't wanna do it to my skin. I have very sensitive skin. I broke out after the highlighter challenge pretty bad, and I was like, you know what? Um, I don't want to do that. I don't wanna layer anything on my skin like that. And then I thought about doing the lashes because I like lashes. I'm gonna have to go out and buy 100 pairs of eyelashes? Like, no, I don't wanna do it. Of course, this is such a long intro, but I was telling my Snapchat, you know, I don't know what to do. I'm listening to you guys. I know that you want to see a challenge, but I just don't see one that I want to do yet. I'm sorry. I'm such a practical and boring person. I'm so sorry, but that's just who I am, and I'm not going to pretend that I'm anybody else. If I'm not comfortable making a video, I'm not going to make it. It's just that simple. So I asked for, like, ideas and suggestions, and my Snapchat came through, not just with challenges, but video ideas in general. A couple people said they want to see like because I talk about price because you guys I'm, I'm not rich. If you don't know my full-time job is an author and I also own a publishing company and I will tell you right now um, publishing is not where the money's at. I'll be, I'll be straight up with you guys. I don't have a ton of money to be able to spend on makeup and when I do I think very carefully about the purchases that I'm going to make so to spend hundreds of dollars on products just to be silly and put them all over my face or to spend hundreds of dollars on kids products I'm going to use once and throw away. It's just not practical for me. It's not what I'm going to do. So I had a lot of people suggest, you know, a, like a $10 makeup challenge, a $5 makeup challenge, things like that. And I was like, okay, now we're getting somewhere. I feel like maybe I could actually do something like that. I went through my makeup collection and tried to find like the cheapest items that I owned and see like what could I do. But even going through my collection and finding like blush and eyeliner and lashes, mascara, like once you put the full face together, I mean, it was like, $50, $30, $20, like I was trying to like whittle away things and like what in the heck can I do here? And then I remembered that I have seen Dollar Tree hauls here on YouTube and apparently you can go to the Dollar Tree and they have makeup brands there and each product is a dollar. I didn't even know that before I started watching YouTube videos. I thought, okay, why not go into the Dollar Tree and see what kind of makeup they have and see what I can come up with. Can I do a full face using only products that cost one dollar so i don't know what i'm going to call this video like the one dollar makeup challenge because legit every single product that i bought cost me one dollar is my bag from the dollar tree 
So I got a total of nine items and I spent, here's my receipt, I spent $9.54 total. I bought everything that I think I needed. They didn't have primer, there was no primer there, which I don't always use primer because sometimes I forget. And they didn't have any like regular highlighter. There was nothing there as like a highlight, which I don't use highlight always. And after the full face highlighter challenge, I got a lot of texture. <laughs> And so I kind of been backing off the highlight anyways. Those were the only two things. I got foundation and concealer and eyeshadow and liner and mascara. There was even lashes there. It was amazing. So I'm going to challenge myself to put everything on my face, see what kind of full face look I can come up with. I'm going to be only using these nine products. So I'm not going to use a beauty blender. I'm not going to use an expensive brush. Some of the things like the eyeshadow palette comes with a brush, um, the blush and the bronzer comes with like the own little brush in the palette. That's all I'm going to be using, nothing else. This is a $9.54 makeup tutorial right here. I want to say thank you to my Snapchat fam for giving me this idea and for understanding like my certain limitations and the way my mind works when it comes to these YouTube challenges. Hopefully you find this like somewhat informative, a little bit more practical, but still fun at the same time and it's still a challenge because this is going to be challenging, especially when you see some of the color selections that I was forced to get. It's going to be interesting, but here we go. One dollar makeup challenge. Let's get it. I got nine products. Like I mentioned, they didn't have a primer, so I'm just going to start with foundation. This is from LA Colors. It's their liquid makeup. So this is what it looks like. So the first thing that I noticed... <laughs> was that with the makeup like yeah they have like the different brands and such but they do not have like shade selections the biggest thing i saw for shade selections were lipsticks but like when it came to this this was one of the only foundations i could find they had one shade tan i mean i'm not super tan so i don't think this is going to be a great color match by any means but we're gonna go ahead and try it because there was no other option they didn't have a lighter shade or anything so it was the same with like the blush the bronzer etc they had one shade across the board so I was like okay so your selection is very very limited which was interesting but I'm gonna go ahead and apply this and like I mentioned I wanted this to be one dollar makeup challenge I'm not using my twenty dollar beauty blender or even like my six dollar morphe brush or anything like that so they didn't have any foundation brushes so I'm just going to have to use my fingers, which sometimes I use my fingers to apply foundation, like especially like BB creams. Okay, here's what it looks like. Oh, Lord. Why do I have glitter on my face? Oh, oh boy. Okay. Well, this is going to make us nice and tan. Interesting because like when I put it on my face, it was very dark, but as I'm rubbing it in, it's like getting lighter, which is weird. Um, also, it doesn't appear to be like sinking into my skin. I don't know what you would call that, but it's like sitting on top of my skin, which is weird. And it's very orangey. Like I'm going to look like a straight Oompa Loompa after this. <laughs> look how orange that is. Oh, Nelly. Okay. Look at this. I don't know if you guys can see that in the camera, but it's literally like peeling off my skin. Okay. So I'm definitely I was like really wondering if I, I would find like any gems in here, but legit, can you see that? Ew. Obviously the color match is not anywhere near where it should be and that's because they had one shade, but literally like as I'm moving it, it's like, it's literally peeling off my skin. That is so disgusting. Oh, that's just so gross. Look at that. No. No. Okay, so the foundation was an epic fail on every single level. Like, even if the color match did match me, the way it balls up on the face, like, oh, okay. But we're going to keep going. So next is concealer. This is from Wet n Wild from the Friggy Collection. So all it says is Celebrity Concealer. There is no shade on here. And there was like a rack of them and they were all looked to me to be exactly the same. So this says come correct celebrity concealer. Well, that kind of sounds dirty, but okay. So it's from Wet n Wild and collab with Fergie. It says, okay. So it says it is medium beige. <laughs> okay. Well, why not? We're just 
we're just gonna go for it so again they didn't have anything that would look like a concealer brush so I'm just gonna have to use my fingers again but why not oh 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 if you guys can tell but like when I got some product out it's literally like water okay so it comes out like water and it literally looks like it's like three different colors this doesn't make any sense there's like really light parts but then there's some dark parts in there too like it looks like I mixed two different concealers together, but actually forgot to like mix them up. Oh, I, oh, it's so thick. How does it come out like water, but it feels so thick? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, 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 okay. This is fine. Oh, too much, too much. And I don't have a brush. <gasps> Seriously, this feels so disgusting. Oh my word. This is so thick. This could be a foundation. It would probably literally be a better foundation match for me than the actual foundation that's on my face. But this is so thick. How do I even blend this in? Okay, you guys, I honestly, like, I had high hopes for this challenge. And I was like, this actually might be kind of boring because... Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. I was like, this actually might be kind of like a boring challenge. Why not use some as an eye primer too? Because so I'm like, well, it's just going to be like a regular makeup challenge. Like, yeah, some of the color matching might not be great, but it's not going to be like exciting to watch. This is going to be like the most epic fail of a makeup challenge ever. So if you can tell how it like accentuates my pore. So I've always had this like huge pore right here and it just like, and then I have some on this side too. Like, look at that. <gasps> Ew. Look at that it does not blend into the skin. How would one use this as an actual concealer? Look at my poor nose. <laughs> What's happening? I just want to wash my face so bad. So why not put some concealer down here because I have some redness. Okay, we got some redness up here. So I'm just gonna put the concealer all over my nose because it's basically all over my nose anyways. So why not just try to like blend it in with this uh crazy looking foundation. I can't believe like how high of hopes I had for this challenge. I can't believe that I thought about not doing this because I thought it would be too boring and be like any other makeup tutorial. What? And again, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like balled up. Like if you see that, that's like balled up product right there. Oh. 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 <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, so let's keep it rolling. So next we're gonna bronze up the skin a little bit because um because that's what we're gonna do in the shade bronze. Perfect. Bronze with its own little brush, so that's what we're gonna use to bronze with. So here's what it looks like, and it has its own little brush. So let's do some let's do some bronzing, because that will probably help, right? I went like this and it looked like there was a lot of product on it, so I tapped it off and then Basically all the product goes away. Like this foundation line. Oh no, the brush is already coming off. The brush is just, the brush is falling apart, you guys. The brush is falling apart. I thought it would be really interesting. I only watched two like Dollar Tree makeup challenges and both people use like a beauty blender. One used like a Marc Jacobs brush and I was like, no, I'm gonna use what they come with or use my fingers or whatever. Like I'm gonna try to really really make this work okay I feel like that foundation is like very luminous I feel like my skin looks quite glowy or maybe it's just the crazy coming through I don't know the brush is is not good this this brush is not good and the bronzer really didn't go on very well I mean I feel like I just did a hundred layers of bronzer just trying to get any color to show so we're 0 for 3 guys Row for three. Let's keep it rolling. Okay, so next we're gonna try blush. So this is another one from LA Colors. LA Colors like really like that was like the main jam there. So this is their powder blush. It does come with an applicator, which is, it looks very similar to the other one. And this is in toast. This was the only shade of blush that they had was toast. So blush is doing the same thing. I put the product on there, like you can see a lot, right? And then I tap it off. And <laughs> Where'd the product go? The first thoughts is how do you apply blush with a brush 
this small and once again the bristles are just going all over my face Do you see the bristles <laughs> just like going everywhere I hate to say it but I think we're about to go 0 for 4 this is not going well I had really high hopes for this guys down here there's there's like crumbles of foundation now mixed in with bristles and then there's this line that I used to have when I did makeup in high school eyes because I don't think I can beat this face anymore it kind of hurts and it's like itchy like I keep itching my face like ah, I just want to wash my face so from color mates color mates I got this eyeshadow palette in garden party so here's what that looks like for a natural look it's long wearing and it blends easily well we don't have any blending brushes so we're gonna see how easy that claim is with the little brush that comes inside of it what the little palette looks like let's see here it is here are all the different shades and it's got like this double ended brush i'm gonna pick up this second shade right here just a little brown one and kind of put that into the crease i use the concealer on my eyelids as a primer which is something that i do often and it is creasing so bad but I mean hey it's probably not the concealer's fault because I didn't set it right right it's not terrible that was only two applications and with a non blending brush I mean it wasn't too bad I'm gonna pick up this blue because it like reminds me of a mermaid this one right here okay we're gonna pick that one up and put it all over the lid Whoa! <laughs> it did go on like pretty intense, but as I'm like blending it out, it's looking like it's it's kind of losing its luster a little bit. But um, so this I don't feel like this looks awful. That looks pretty. Do I look pretty? <laughs> Honestly, like it's not even like super crumbly. It's really not. This isn't bad. This isn't bad, you guys. And for a dollar, you get all these shades. That's not bad. So for liner, we're going to use from e.l.f. Cosmetics, and this is their liquid eyeliner and coffee. So I'm assuming this is like brown, and this was all they had as well. Here's what the liquid liner looks like. So this is what the tip looks like. That is like super, super tiny. Oh, oh my word. I'm kind of nervous. Hold on, let me see. And it moves like it's super, super flexible. So this might be really hard to make a wing. I typically like something that's a little bit like firmer or stiffer let's give it a shot looks to be like really brown I feel like it's pretty pigmented um it's a little bit like it's kind of streaky it wasn't bad it was a little difficult to do because of how how like flexible the brush is like, second eye guys this is not bad for a dollar for this liquid liner that's not bad okay and as it's kind of like settling in it's kind of losing a little bit of its like oomph color wise but true not bad for one dollar this is not bad I would use this again maybe on like days where I don't want to use like my more expensive makeup but the elf liquid liner for one dollar that's not bad that's not bad this is from LA colors it just says mascara in soft black okay here can you see the creasing on my under eyes oh man so it looks like a pretty standard wand so there's not a lot happening not much happening there let me put some on the top lashes even though there was false lashes there kind of doing something it's 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 it wants to so the mascara also like fl is already like flaking pretty bad and it's up here as well on my eyes so that is no good. I apologize if you can hear my dog in the background. She's sitting across from me just snoring away. Mascara I don't think was great. I mean, I can see it a little bit. It didn't really make much of a difference. And it's just, like, I got it on my under eye over here. But on this side, I didn't. And it's already pretty flaky. And it transferred up on the lid as well. So, no for the mascara. Next, we have lashes. And these look crazy. So this is going to be great. So these are from Wet n Wild. Shredding the Fringe, I think is what they're called. Shredding the Fringe. Here's what they look like. Probably not anything that I normally would gravitate towards. They look a little odd. But I was glad that they came with their own glue too. So I don't even have to use my glue. Because I was like, wait, I can't use lashes if I don't have the glue for it. But it came with it. So here's the lashes. We have the glue. 
It appears to be white, which I really don't like white eyelash glue because I just think that you can see it. I think I am going to have to trim these a little bit because they look a little long, but I mean I have to trim like every pair of lashes that I wear. So if you didn't see my eyelash video, I do have one, but I can show you a quick demo of what I do. I basically just, oh my word, these are like, oh. These are so thin, I feel like I'm going to break them. So I put the lashes on, <laughs> these are so, <laughs> these are so thin, how would I, okay. So I put the lashes on like I normally would and see how much I have to trim. I'm just going to trim, I'm just going to trim because I don't know what these lashes are doing. Sticky adhesive to stick it to like the container is underneath the lash band so it doesn't come off I don't know I don't know what to do it's actually it looks to be very clear oh oh that's not good oh Jesus oh oh my word so it came out as a clear gel and it comes out super super thick what is this it came out super thick and I don't know if you guys can see this you see that like dot of glue it literally came out went on the lash fell down the lash and plopped itself into there this is not this is not gonna be well I can't imagine this is going to be well so I think I have some glue on there so I'm gonna wait a few seconds and get it tacky and then I'll go ahead and put it on and then move on to the next lash I do not have high hopes for this okay Thank you so much. To dry for a little bit. I don't think this is going to go on. It was like the glue like clumped together right right there. And I can't get those lashes apart, but but it actually is actually on my lash. It looks so crazy. Bizarre. This is completely bizarre. I feel like that side wasn't as bad as the other side. <sighs> That was an experience, you guys. That was an experience. I'm glad that we were able to experience that together. <laughs> Thing left to go, and that is lips. I picked up this gloss. It says it's a crystal lip gloss. So that's what it looks like. I've never seen these from Milani, ever. I was kind of hoping I would see something like, something that I actually recognized from the brand, but that's okay. This is what the packaging looks like. Okay, there's like, I mean, it's a lip gloss. There's some pigmentation, but not a lot. But I mean, it's a gloss. It's not a, like a lipstick. It smells horrendous. Not as sticky as I thought it would be. I mean, it's a little bit sticky, but really, stickiness is not bad. A little bit streaky, like some areas are more pink than others, but it's not bad. It's not terrible. It doesn't look like super glossy, I don't think, but... It's not super sticky. It's not incredibly pigmented, but it shouldn't be. It's it's a lip gloss. It's not bad. It's not bad for one dollar. Like, if you're in a pinch and you needed some lip gloss, that's not bad. Get it through the one dollar makeup challenge, and this is the final results. What do you guys think? I would definitely not be able to go out in public like this. So three out of nine products worked for me. The eyeshadow palette, the eyeliner, and the lip gloss. So three out of nine. I honestly cannot wait to go wash my face because this foundation, it can sit, like I cannot stop itching my face. I don't know what it's doing and I just want it off my skin right away. But I hope that you guys enjoyed my $1 makeup challenge. Maybe you found it somewhat informative. Maybe you didn't know makeup was at the Dollar Tree. Well, it is. And now I've reviewed a couple of the products from you told you what to stay away from, and told you what you can try out. I had a lot of fun doing this challenge. This was way, way, way more my style than some of the other challenges that are out there. So thank you so much to my Snapchat family for suggesting this to me. I had a lot of fun, A, shopping for this. It was a lot of fun. And B, it actually turned out to be a lot different than I expected. I thought this would just be a regular makeup tutorial. I kind of worried it might be boring, but it turned out to be actually a lot of fun. You know, it was... 
it was silly and it's lighthearted, but it's makeup, it's all good, it can be washed off, that's what I'm about to do, but hopefully this was somewhat entertaining and maybe somewhat of value to you guys, I hope so. But if you guys did enjoy this $1 makeup challenge, please do give this video a thumbs up because that really does help me out. I do have a couple giveaways going on right now, so hopefully you'll check those out and get entered. Those would be linked right in the top of the description box down below. If you guys have any other makeup challenges that you think would be fun or any ideas that you have for challenges that maybe you haven't seen yet, please leave them in the description box below because like I said, I'm always looking at your guys' recommendations because it helps me out so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you will subscribe before you go and I will catch you real soon in my next one. Bye guys. I look insane.